Hello, I'm Miss Ginsburg with No Adam, and today we're going to be reading Plant and Animal Relationships. This is a student reader in Unit 6. Growing Butterflies, Studying Butterflies. Martha is a scientist. She studies butterflies and moths. One day, Martha had a question. Can adult butterflies remember things that happened to them when they were young? This is Martha. She studies butterflies and moths. This is a butterfly. How butterflies change. Butterflies and moths don't grow like people do. As you grow, you get bigger but your body keeps the same parts. Your head looks similar. So do your arms and legs. Butterflies and moths go through a complete change as they grow. A young butterfly doesn't look like an adult butterfly. This is why Martha was curious. She wanted to know if butterflies and moths remember things after they change. Your body keeps the same parts as you grow. As living things grow, they move through a life cycle. A life cycle is the stages of all living things go through on their way from birth to death. Butterflies and moths start as eggs. This is stage one. Time passes. The eggs hatch. A caterpillar comes out of the egg. This caterpillar is the larva of moths and caterpillars. A larva is an insect's young, worm-like form. This is stage two. Here is a caterpillar. Caterpillars eat a lot. They need to grow big. When a caterpillar grows big enough, it covers itself with a skin to protect it. It hangs from a branch. It is now in stage three. It is a pupa. The pupa is inactive. It doesn't eat. It survives on the food it's stored as a caterpillar. From the outside, it doesn't look like much is happening. But inside, all the parts of the caterpillar are changing. It is becoming a butterfly. This is a pupa. When the changes are complete, the skin breaks open. The butterfly crawls out. Its wings are wet and bent. The butterfly cannot fly. After about an hour, the wings are straight and dry. They are strong. The butterfly can fly away. This is stage four. Adult butterflies lay eggs. This is how butterflies reproduce. This butterfly crawls out of its protective skin. This is an adult butterfly. The changes of a caterpillar into a butterfly is called a metamorphosis. Metamorphosis happens when a living thing completely changes its form from one stage to the next in its life cycle. Martha, the scientist, learned that butterflies and moths do remember things from before they changed. They remembered smells from when they were caterpillars. So here's a diagram of a butterfly's life cycle. So it starts as eggs, then moves to caterpillar, which is larva, a chrysalis, which is pupa, and the adult. The adult lays eggs. Life of a butterfly, smelling and tasting. Butterflies smell, taste, and touch things around them, just like people do. But the way they smell, taste, and touch is different. Butterflies don't have noses or mouths like people. They use body parts called antennae on their heads to smell, taste, and touch. They also use their legs. Butterflies have antennae. 
Butterflies are a kind of animal called an insect. All insects have three body segments. All insects have six legs. The head is the front segment of an insect. The middle segment is the thorax. The thorax holds the insect's six legs. It also holds its wings. Butterflies use their wings to fly from place to place. The back segment is the abdomen. An insect's stomach is here. Food goes to the stomach. Parts of a butterfly. Abdomen, thorax, head. Here are the legs, antenna, and wings. Sipping nectar. Butterflies have body parts to help them survive. They have to eat other living things for food because they are animals. Food gives them energy. They also need water to survive. Many butterflies drink nectar from flowers. The nectar gives them food and water. They have a straw-like tube to suck in nectar. The tube is a pro proboscis. It is a long and curled. It lets butterflies reach deep into plants to get nectar. The proboscis is a curled tube. Butterflies use their legs to stand on flowers as they eat. Pollen gets on their legs and body. They fly to a new flower. The pollen drops off. This helps the flowers make seeds. Butterflies also have big eyes to see. They use their eyes and antennae to find food. This butterfly stands on its legs to eat. Finding shelter. Butterflies use their wings to fly. They move from flower to flower to eat. They fly to a shelter at night. They also fly to shelter when it rains. The shelter protects them. Some butterflies shelter under a leaf. Some shelter under a tree. Butterflies fly from flower to flower. Pollinators, keeping bees. Matt loves insects. He gets excited when he sees one. One day, he saw a bee on his window. Matt gave the bee some honey to eat. It flew off. Matt is a beekeeper. Beekeepers are people who raise bees. This is a bee. It is an insect. Pollinating plants. Many people raise bees. Bees are important for people. Bees make honey that people eat. People also use bees to pollinate plants. Bees are good pollinators. They pollinate many plants. Bees pollinate many kinds of fruits and vegetables that people eat. People use bees to pollinate plants. Many plants cannot make new plants without pollinators. Flowers use pollen to make seeds. The pollinators move the pollen to where it needs to go. Pollinators move pollen from the stamens of one flower to the pistil of another. When the pollen reaches the pistil, new seeds can be made. Pollen needs to move from the stamens of one flower to the pistil of another flower. Collecting pollen. Bees have body parts that collect pollen. Bees have fuzzy bodies. They are covered with many small hairs. Pollen sticks to these hairs when bees eat nectar. Some bees have a basket on their back legs. This basket holds pollen. Pollen sticks to the fuzzy body of this bee. Insects aren't the only pollinators. Some birds are also pollinators. Hummingbirds are pollinators. They have long, thin beaks. 
they reach their beaks into flowers. This is how they get nectar. Some pollen from the flower gets on their face. They fly to another plant. Some of the pollen drops off onto this plant. It can now form seeds. This hummingbird is a pollinator. I learned a lot reading plant and animal relationships. I had fun too. I hope that you learned a lot and that you had fun also. I'll see you tomorrow with another one. Bye.